So, you want to boost up your old low-end laptop's performance and overall speed? Plus, you don't really need to download anything in this tutorial. Stick around, I'll show you how after the intro hits. Let's go! Very earthly being. What is up people of earth, welcome to... Why is my lips really red? Anyways, what is up people of earth, welcome to the most early channel here on YouTube. You are watching Very Earthly Being. Today, I will be teaching you on how to boost up your old low-end laptop or even PC's performance and overall speed. If maybe you need a little more push if you are doing basic stuff, advanced video, photo or audio editing, animations, and even gaming itself. And like I said, you don't need to download any stuff in this video. Personally, I have blue. Blue. Personally, I have been using my low-end laptop for a while now and uh, so if you are experiencing the same struggle that I do, which you know, basically now I don't because I already did this stuff. <laughs> okay. And of course, even the top tier, godlike, and most importantly, expensive PCs can join in this tutorial as well. You click on the right video, so now without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So now let's start off with our first tip right now and this is setting up your indexing options all right now to do that tip you just want to search index in your search bar right here and just like that the first best match right here just click on it this panel will pop up go to modify and just uncheck all of the boxes that are ticked in this panel. So the only checked box in my laptop right now is this Internet Explorer history. So I'm just gonna uncheck this option right there and just click on OK. And just like that, let's close this panel right here. You've done the first step right there. Now setting up the indexing options will help your PC to stop allocating extra space for unwanted system or program cache. No, I don't mean the cache like the money. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! I mean cache as in like the temporary files you don't need and just taking up some space in your device. Now the second tip is to disable background apps running in your device and this is how to turn them off alright. Just go to your start menu icon and go to settings right here. And now while in your settings, just type on in this search bar background apps alright. So just click on this first option right here. And now it will bring you to this screen right here so a lot of this stuff are on right now so you can pick any application right here that you don't want to be enabled all right so you just want to click on this switch right here to turn it off or on and just like that you are disabling those background app what this setting does is just turning off the apps that you don't even open up yourself and are just running silently in the background while you are doing something maybe important in your device And just like that, we are on our third tip right now, which is to turn off unnecessary notifications. Now still on the settings, just go on to system right here and just click on this notifications and action section, alright? Now in here, you have a lot of checked boxes suggested by Windows itself, alright? So what I want you to do is just uncheck the last two boxes right here. If you want to, you can uncheck the last three boxes right here so you really don't get any special notifications from Windows that maybe you already know. But for me, in my case, I would just turn this fourth option on. So just disabling these notifications will avoid some additional tasks and notifs suggested by Windows and updates or other features of your devices. Now 
Now, the fourth tip is turning off PC downloads from other devices. Yes, your PC downloads some features from other computers as well. So you want to turn that off, ensure that your storage will not get full, all right? So still in your settings, I want you to go to update and security, go to delivery optimization, and right here, allow downloads from other PCs is on. So you just want to turn this off, and just like that, we've done the fourth tip right there. So these downloads are just some features or additional tasks being downloaded by the application you recently downloaded or just Windows themselves. Now speaking of your downloads, you can call this the tip 4.5 which will be adjusting your download bandwidth or something like that. I don't really have an idea what this stuff is but I noticed that my internet speed runs very quickly when I turned this option on. So you just want to go to this advanced options section right here and just click on that and while you are in here you can pick either absolute bandwidth or percentage of measured bandwidth. So if you want to, you can limit, go here in the percentage of measured bandwidth and just adjust these sliders right here. But I will leave it maybe in 50 and 90 right there. Okay, now at our fifth PC tip is to turn off visual effects or additional appearance settings of your Windows device, all right? Now, to change that setting, you just wanna type in in your search bar, appearance, okay? And you should select the best match for this one. So just click on it, and this panel will now pop up in your screen. So just uncheck all of these, or the best way is just to adjust for best performance. And right there, you need to check on some of the boxes because Windows would be horrible if you don't check some of the boxes here. So if you want to, you could use drop shadows for icon labels, smooth edges of screen fonts, show translucent selection triangle. Wait a minute! Selection triangle. Show thumbnails instead of icons. Animate windows when minimizing and maximizing. Just hit apply right there. And after that, hit on OK. Now, turning off these settings will minimize the status of your CPU or RAM, which can help to give an extra push to your apps that you are using. Number six is to run maintenance task. In this setting, you just wanna open up control panel. So let's search up control panel right here. And just like that, open up the best search. And while you are in your control panel, just type in troubleshoot. And the first option here, just click on it. And just click on this run maintenance tasks under system and security. Now in here, you just wanna click on next. And just like that, you've done the sixth tip. It's very easy, am I right? Now you just want to close this and close your control panel, refresh your desktop, and boom, you've done the sixth step. So what this setting does is, of course, in the name itself, it runs maintenance tasks to provide space for additional features of your apps or the updates that Windows will give you. In number 7, it is turning off background screen capturing in Windows 10. Now to change this setting, you just want to go to your settings again. And go here to gaming. And go to captures right here. And in here, we have background recording and recorded audio. So we just want to turn all of these off. Now this setting will disable one of the features I think is included in the Xbox Game Bar feature in Windows 10. So while it is running in the background, it's getting ready for you to use Xbox Game Bar to record and capture your screen. Which maybe you won't because you're using other screen recorders like OBS and those stuff. So ain't that pretty naughty of you Xbox Game Bar? You naughty naughty, you teasing me, you naughty naughty. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now in your 8th step which is putting your battery into the highest performance. So to do that you just want to go to your control panel again, search it up in your search bar, control panel, click on the best match, search up battery, and right here power options, click on that. So for me I have changed this setting a while ago so there will be two additional plans in your device which has the balanced options and the high options right there. So as you can see plans shown on the battery meter, Acer right here is my highest capable performance given by the laptop. Now changing this setting will make your battery aim for the max performance there is. But here are things to take note especially for old computers. Number one, it can heat up the laptop immediately. Number two, it will boost the fan speed inside. And lastly, the battery will easily drain especially when you are not connected to a power source or your laptop is not plugged in. Okay, number nine is to assign graphic settings. So this step is usually done in gaming. Now to do that setting, you just want to search in your Windows search bar, graphic settings, okay? So you just want to type on graphics. And the first best result for that, just click on this one. It would redirect you to settings and choose an app to set preference. So you just want to browse and find your app you want to have good quality. Now what this setting does is just to provide a specific boost to that game that you are playing. Now heading to our 10th tip of the day, we have to set priority on a certain app or program. So to do that setting, you must have an application open that you need more boost in your device, alright? So let's say I have this application called Blender. I want to boost it so it may be just be a little bit faster, you know? A little bit faster running in my laptop, alright? So you just wanna go click on Control shift escape which will bring up the task manager. And now this panel has popped up, you just want to go to details, find your application that you want to boost. So mine will be Blender, so I'm just going to type in B right there, Blender, and just right click in this option and just set priority, set it to high, and change the priority. And just like that, you have done the 10th tip in our video. Now number 11 is just to adjust your processor capacity. Yeah! So to do that, you just want to click on Windows and R, alright? Windows and R at the same time. And it will open up run right here. So you just want to type in msconfig like that and just press on OK. And in here, system configuration, go to boot up here and click on your current device. Go to advanced options, go to number of processors, and put it on the highest number there is. So mine is gonna be 4, but depending on what device you are using, it will be more than 4. And again, I just rhymed. <laughs> now after that, click on OK, apply, and click on OK again. This prompt will show up in your screen that says you may need to restart your computer to apply these changes. For better results, you need to restart your device as soon as possible. So our tip number 12 is actually 3 steps but you know they have the same purpose so I combined them in one specific number. Now again, you just want to go to Windows R to open up your run menu right here and just type in percent temp percent and just hit enter or just click OK. And right here, you want to click on Control A and delete all of these temporary files, all right? So just like that, do this for all current items. So there will be some that will be left in this file right here because they are still being used by your system. Exit out of your file explorer and just empty the recycle bin. Yes. And now the second step inside the hour 12 tip is again going to run, okay? 
So in that, just type on temp without the percents, all right? Just type on temp like that, hit enter. And in here, you just wanna select all of these stuff. You can highlight and select all of it, or you just wanna click on control A and delete again. And again, they are being used by the system currently, so I can't delete those. So now just exit out of your file explorer, recycle bin, empty the recycle bin again, and click on yes. And now the third tip and the final one inside of our 12th tip is going again into the run menu and typing in prefetch, all right? And hit enter. Now all of these will come up, just hit on control A and delete. So now just exit out of your file explorer again and empty the recycle bin again. Now our 13th tip is setting up storage sense. Now how to do that? You just want to go again to your settings in Windows 10. Now in your settings, go to system, go to storage, and right here we have configure storage sense or run it now. Click on that and mine is on because you know I need to really care about the storage inside my device. So now I run storage sense every day. You can pick whatever option there is. Now I have this delete temporary files that my apps aren't using check just to be sure that temporary files from those apps won't take up some memory or space in my device. And of course, you can clean up some residual junk inside this page right here. So you just want to click on clean now at the bottom of this program right here. Clean now and it will just analyze and, you know, delete some files that you don't need. All right. Now, speaking of cleaning up, this will be our 14th tip which we will be cleaning our storage disks all right so you just want to search up disk cleanup and click on the best match click on ok and check every box there is in this panel all right now just click on clean up system files right here and again click on ok and now it will take a few minutes to clean up your disk and yeah, it's pretty worth it, especially when you got a lot of files in your device. And the 15th and the final tip in our video for today will be defragging and optimizing your drives inside your device. So in here, you just want to search in your search bar, defrag, all right, defrag. And the best match will be the fragment and optimized drives. Just click on that and pick on whatever drive you are currently using. Oh. Or you can select both of these options right here. But for this video, I will be just selecting my C drive and optimize it. Just click on optimize. And now it's done optimizing. That's our 15th step. So that is it people of Earth. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button right there. Subscribe and click the notification bell to get updated on our channel uploads and some updates. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.